Welcome to part 4 of lecture 12 of aerospace propulsion. So we left off with trying to calculate the areas for Mach numbers of 0.5 and 0.9 if the throat is at a Mach number of 1. And if we do have this calculation, so how would we do this? Um, we would do this by going back and using the uh, equation right here and we would just put in different Mach numbers. Our area is the same, uh, the pressure and temperature are the same, uh, and the mass flow is the same. So, uh, sorry, the area is not the same. Sorry, the only things that are changing are Mach number and area. So everything else is constant. So we can just essentially take the ratio of this whole equation at different Mach numbers to get the area ratios. If we do this, we'll find that at uh, Mach 0.5, the area is about 34% uh, larger. And at Mach number 0.9, the area is less than 1% larger. So what we see is that there's a very high sensitivity of the Mach number to the area in the vicinity of Mach 1. Less than a 1% area reduction is needed to accelerate a flow from Mach 0.9 to Mach 1. What this tells us is that we need to be able to know uh, how our flow is behaving in order to design nozzles that are meant to pass a certain amount of mass flow very accurately because we could sort of be off in our flow rate by maybe something close to 10% if we've got our area wrong by about 1%. Now if we think about uh, the flow that's going to go into the nozzle in the bypass stream, essentially its inlet conditions are set by the fan pressure ratio. Right, so we've got stagnation pressure that's coming in from the forward flight speed and the fan pressure ratio, and these together determine the, the total pressure at the, or stagnation pressure at the inlet of the nozzle. So if we've got our airplane flying around at Mach 0 0.78, what would be the minimum fan pressure ratio that you would need to just choke the bypass nozzle? So think about this and try to calculate it for a couple of minutes uh, before you move on to the next part of the video.